Looking at a parallelogram, we want to find the area of this particular parallelogram. Now, we've got a base of 12 going along here. We have a traditional height, which is unmarked. But I do know that the distance from this vertex to this point where the altitude is touching, which runs up to this vertex, is 3 units. This side of the parallelogram is 5 units. Now, a common practice that students do here is they take the formula, area of a parallelogram is base times height, and they substitute 12 as the base, 5 as the height. You want to avoid that because remember, this distance here is slanted. This will be taking this rectangle, which is 12 by 5. That would give me the area of 60. The problem is, I've swung it over. I've kicked it to become a parallelogram. And in doing so, I change its area. If you don't believe me, take the extreme version of this. If I kick it all the way down, You can see there's almost no area in this figure. It's almost perfectly flat. So I have to take into account the actual height, this distance here, which is not given. So here's the key. Most of these problems are, are done by using things that we've learned earlier this year. And you always want to ask yourself, if I feel stuck, is there a rule that we use that I can apply here? In this case, I'm looking at that triangle. That's the key now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that triangle off and look at it. Do I have any rules that will help me figure out this height? It's a right triangle. We've done a lot with right triangles recently. I don't know any angles in this case, so sine, cosine, tangent is out, but right triangle I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, I can say 3 squared plus h squared equals 5 squared. Algebra happens, so 9 plus h squared equals 25. It's tempting to yada, yada, yada my way through this, but we'll, we'll work it out. h squared, therefore, is 16, and therefore h is equal to 4. In an algebra setting, you really want to talk about positive or negative 4, because we took the square root. In a geometry setting, we don't use negative measurements. Figures cannot be negative 4 inches long, so we don't worry about that negative. But as a caution, if this is an algebra class, you want to be aware there are always two answers to square roots. Now, I've got my height of 4. That's this altitude here that I've calculated. I know my base is 12. I can now go ahead and apply the formula. The area of a parallelogram is the base. 12 times the height, 4, and that gives me 48, which is different than what I would have had if I'd used 5 as the height, which is that slant. That would be giving me 60. I've lost 12 square units of area by kicking this rectangle over into the realm of parallelogram. 